Well, that seems to complete the arrangements for the Blackpool trip, gentlemen. I hope there's no ill feeling about this trip to Blackpool. I realise that you had intended to go to Morecambe, but uh, upon amalgamation, Mrs Sharple seems to have carried the day. Nay, uh, I gave up hope as soon as she started talking. All seats taken, then, eh? Right. Oh, well, if everything's in order, I'll take my leave. And the uh, coach will pick up your party at the appointed hour. Fair enough. <laughs> and let's uh, hope that we shall all find that uh, it will be an illuminating experience. What will? Seeing the lights. An illuminating experience. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> hey. He's one on his own, uh, that bloke. He's a robber, there's no two ways about it. Hey, he's waltzed off with me pencils. <laughs> By gum, we shall have to keep an eye on him tonight. Keep an eye on who, Jack? Hey, oh, old man Swindler here. Old man Swindler? Well, that's a lovely thing to say, I must say. Mr. Swindler may not roll home blind drunk every night, but he is a gentleman. He carries himself very well, does Mr. Swindler. Nay, Annie, it was not but a figure of speech. Figure of nothing. You were just being plain rude, love. Well, have you two finished your little conflict, then? Yes, we have, thank and everybody's you. Everybody's happy? Yeah, I'll be starting in a couple of days. If you think I'll be OK. Hey, I'm sure you will. Well, lass. Oh, I'm dying to have a go at them pumps. And get out for Mr. Swindler to see me dishing out the pipes. <laughs> Daddy if he ever comes in, though, does he? Well, no, not as a rule. <laughs> I still think you're being rude about Mr. Swindler. Still, as long as it's only him you keep your eye on, I shan't complain. Well, what do you mean, love? Tell him what we've arranged, Doreen, dear. Well, it's like this, Mr. Walker. Just so as you behave yourself. You what? It isn't manners to interrupt a lady. Go on, Doreen. Well, just so as you behave yourself. Remember, you have a wife at home slaving. Slaving away? I've got to see that you don't get up to your usual tricks. That's right, up to your usual tricks. Hey, what are they talking about? Then? I don't know, Jack, but I think these two have got you taped. Hey, what's my usual tricks? Well, you may have forgotten your past, Jack Walker, but I haven't. All right, it's all coming out now. My past. Well, V.E. night, helping a wren who was perfectly capable of sinking the entire German Navy single-handed <laughs> to climb up Queen Victoria's statue, among other things. Nay, hey, Annie, that would be Jane, all mm. right. Christmas Eve, running from bar to bar with a sprig of mistletoe looking for someone to wave it over. Well, after all, it were Christmas. Yes, and this is the Blackpool trip, and we all know what trips are like. When men get to your age, they get some very funny ideas. Hey, up, customers. Well, lad, what can I do for you? I wonder if you could help us. In what way, son? Well, we're looking for digs, you see. Do you know anybody around here who takes lodgers in? Lodgers? Now, yeah. let me see. Well, you could try Mrs. Crabtree at 22 Rosamond Street, round the corner. She used to, I do know. Oh, she had them Scots lads, them builders, didn't she? That's right. And if that's no good, try Mrs. Appleby near the laundrette in Beulah Street. Can't think of anyone else. Uh, 22 Rosman Street and Mrs. Appleby on Beulah Street. Mm. Oh. Right, thanks a lot. Thank well, you. Yeah, yeah, tell yeah. you can try if you like, Squire. Go down to Florrie Lindley's shop shop in the corner. She usually has cards in the window, you know, with uh, digs in and things like that. Oh. Right, we'll do that. Ta. Ta Ta then. Ta 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 <laughs> hey, and Danny. Yes, love? She weren't in Wren, she was a waff. Mm. Or was that another time, eh? It's like a chemist shop in here, I'm not kidding. You what? So it's like a chemist shop, there's everything. Iodine, cotton wool, bicarbonate of soda, medicine, a pair of rubber gloves, everything but what we're looking for. Where are your aspirins, Oh, Esther? I shouldn't bother, love. I've doped up to the eyes already. Oh, well. Are you sure you won't come on the trip, Esther? Bit of see her, do you the world of no, good? Honestly, Kenneth, I'm not fit company for anyone tonight. Well, are you sure, love? Even I'm going and look at me. No, I'll just have a nice quiet lie down. I might start perking up a bit. Anyway, what did the doctor say about you, Albert? <laughs> he said if all his patients were as fit as me, he'd be on the door. <laughs> Seriously, did he say you were any better? No, no, he says there's nothing to worry about, and I'm a lot better in myself. But now that I've got our Valerie here looking after me, I haven't got enough to occupy my mind, and he suggests that I ought to get a nice light job, uh, part-time, oh, you know. Oh, that'd be nice for you. Yeah, something to keep me on my feet a bit more, and if it's out in the open air, all the better. Ah, right, well, you wait while we get to Blackpool. A couple of lungs full of Blackpool ozone, and you won't know what to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. You know, Kenneth, I I'm glad you talked to your dad into coming. It'll do him a world of good. Yeah, he didn't do you much persuading, though. He's getting around a bit more now. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose if we're going, we'd better be off. Shall I be all right? Yeah. Anything I can get you? No, I'll just have a nice quiet like Goodness, that. Goodness, what the heck's that? Sounds like a motorbike to me. Hey, Sterling Moss, what do you think you're playing at? Hello, darling, what are they? No, I don't. And if you don't go, I'll come out there and throttle you. There's somebody ill in this house. Ah, uh, there's always someone in one of these houses, darling. They're not dead, they're dying. No wonder nothing else gone up. Dead? Will you just get on your scooter and slam? Scooter? Do you mind? 500, this goes like a bomb. I got here an app this morning. Dead? There's somebody sick. Aren't we all, darling? Aren't we all? That's the trouble with the world today. We're all sick. You don't look here, Jed, whatever your name is. Stone, all right, all right. Don't swallow your thermometer. 
I'll see you. I'm going to take it back anyhow. Why aren't you keeping it? No, I told you. Got it on that floor. Never buy anything that costs money. That's my motto. And I should shut that window. You're catching death of cold standing there. Sit down, well. Oh, he's all right when he's all right. Take the notice. Oh, don't worry if he comes back. I'll just put my head under the pillow. Well, I suppose we'd better be going if we're going on this trip. Yes. Hey, yeah, I've not done my ironing yet. It's not often I get the chance to darn myself up, so I'm going to make the most of it. <laughs> Try, Esther. I'll bring you some hot yeah. I'm going to better get out of the Bye-bye, Esther. Hello, love. Now, look Bye -bye. up Bye -bye. yourself. Oh. Oh, and I want some tablets. What sort of tablets? How do I know what sort of tablets? Some of the fancy name that stops you from ringing your tea up as soon as the shower starts. Oh, sickness tablets. Are you a bad traveller then, Mrs Sharples? Oh, me, a bad traveller. I could give them Russian fellas a run for their money without even bringing me wind up. Oh, no, these are for Minnie Colwell. Without these, her lights will be out before we get out at car park. Oh, I know oh. you two, don't I? Oh, it's the two little Mr Thames from the town hall, isn't it? Uh, yes, sir. Uh... Good afternoon, Mrs. Sharples. Oh, you haven't forgotten me then, have you? Oh, no, uh, we remember you very well, don't we, Phil? Eh? Uh, yes, very what well indeed. What do we owe the pleasure of this visit? Have you run out of tea or so much? Uh, can I help you two lads? Well, uh, I'm sorry to trouble you. I wonder if you could help us. We're looking for digs, you see, and we're told you might know some. You're looking for what? Digs. Oh, Lodgings. Didn't, know, didn't know we were in the town hall class round here. Well, it's only for getting to work, you see. Aye, we don't own the town hall, you know, Mrs. Sharples. We just work there. Work? The town hall? <laughs> Pigs might fly and well, all. Well, I don't know whether I can help you. Have you tried Mrs. Appleby of Beulah Street? Yeah, she doesn't take them anymore. I've just been round there. And Mrs. Crabtree in Rosamond Street. Well, I don't know what else to suggest. Well, do you think we could put a card in your window to advertise for one? Of course you can, love. Well, you want to be very careful you come to live round here. There's some very funny people living in Coronation Street. They've got some very funny habits to be warned. Right. Ah, they're going to Blackpool tonight, so you can expect to see the tower line on its side in the middle of Coronation Street by this time tomorrow. Ah, they're a right room lock. And by gum, Blackpool's going to know it. Right, just for another one, then. Well, I don't think we've got time for another one, have we? I mean, coats will be in a minute. Oh, it's time for another one. If you're buying them, I'm having them. I don't know. Talk about a busman's holiday. You'll go all the way to the illumination, stopping at every pub on the way, and if I know you lot, you won't see so much as a 40-watt bulb when you get there. How do you make that out, Annie Lowe? Straight out of the shower and into the nearest public house. I know you <laughs> lot are <laughs> <laughs> Here's that, Len. What do you think about that? Uh, I'll tell you what I think of that. I'm disgusted, that's what I am. But mind you, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit late, though, isn't it? Ah, yeah. well, of course, driver's lost his way. Hey, show up, Paul. There's many a two-word spoken in jest, you know. Oh, oh, hello, 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 hello. All right, we're here. Where's the Rolls Royce, then, eh? Shut up, Jed. Well, what have I done now? Well, we haven't even started. Already you're making an exhibition of yourself. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be here in a minute. Well, I hope so, Mr Walker. These two are like a couple of kids up and down. Do it. You are. Hurry up, Christine, or we miss that shower. Anybody think you've never been to Blackpool before? Well, it's to let your hair in pins. Oh, go on. Tell the old pub. Go on, shout it out. Christine Hardman still had her hair in pins. Yes, do you? <laughs> well, are we having a drink while we're waiting, then? Yes, all right. No, we are not. Oh, hello. We've finally decided what dress we're wearing, then. then. You can stop that before you start. Go on, Elsie. Let the lad have a drink. Oh, no. I've seen how on a shower trip before. Sitting there, the colour of a billiard table, asking the driver to stop every five minutes. Oh, me? I never drink more than I can take. Well, yeah, then. He'll have half a pint, and that's his lot. Well, Come thanks on. very much. Smashing trip this is going to be. Hello, oh, well, Kevin. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Knocking around out there, did you? No. Why? Is something the matter? No, no. There's nothing the matter. That coach will be here on time. Don't oh. worry. Ah, he'll be all these over 60s. Go mad, they do. There's no controlling them. What do you mean? Oh, I don't know what the olders of today are coming to. If they're all on that coach, ripping up the seats, you can bet your life they're flogging it to a second-hand car dealer. Yeah. Right. They crack on, they're a load of cripples. They're a bunch of Ted's to that. Oh. Hey, well, I can just see Minnie Caldwell in a ponytail and wearing wrinkle pickers. Oh. <laughs> She's just a mole. Swindley, he's the real leader of the gang. You should see him in his leather jacket and his jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Talk of the devil. Having your pardon? Uh, nothing, Mr. Swindley, nothing. Well, come on, then. Let's get more barley out. Ta-ra. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, I'm very gratified to see that the holiday spirit is already prevailing. Yeah, doing all right, aren't you? Eh? <laughs> Just come on. Come on, darling, grab the seat in the back, hurry up. Come on, go for the pace. Wait till the coach starts, I'll tell you. Yeah. Come on. Hey, Go on, go on, surprise me, who's it for? Well, it was for Mr. Swindley. Oh, I didn't expect it was for Snow White and the Seven Do you mean to tell me he's booked it special? Oh, well, not special. Has he got a ticket pinned on to it to say it's reserved? No, I don't suppose it has. No, neither do I. Well, shift your carcass. Oh, what have you got on your head? It's my Blackpool hat, Tina. You what? 
My black pool hat. I bought it the last time we were there on Wet Monday, remember? And have you been saving it all this time? Well, I wear it sometime for shopping, Martha, but not with the writing on. That wouldn't be fair. Right, pass right down the bus, please. No smoking on my deck. Hey, who's got the car? Everything uh, all ship shape in Bristol fashion. Have you all involved? Well, if we haven't, we've got some gate crashes. I can tell you. Hey, 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 I hope you don't mind me and my travelling companion, Mr. Lostock. This seems to be the only seat available. It's all right. I don't snow. <laughs> Still, I also think it's good for labour relations to share one's social activities with one's employees. That reminds me, Mr. Swindley. Talking of employees, I've got so much to tell you. I want to give him a notice. Oh, notice, Miss Lostock? Yeah, I found another situation. Oh. oh, well, in that case, I've no objection, as long as you give me ample time to find an adequate replacement. Oh, it's all right. I don't want to go until the day after tomorrow. Oh, good. Everybody okay? Hey, has anybody got a bottle opener? Never mind the bottle opener. Watch the light. You know what your mum said. Now, watch the light. It's not the Fairy Queen. Have you called one? How long are you away for? Oh, only the evening, Martha. Well, anyone to see you would think you were off for a fortnight. Oh, it's only an evening trip. I could have told you that. You don't have to tell me. I know. What have you got in this bag? Oh, it's just my things, Martha. Oh, isn't that lovely? What things? My things for the trip. Such as what, for instance? Well, uh, there's my suntan. Well, what do you want suntan for? There's no sun at night, you know. Oh, you don't need sun for this, Martha. It works without. Oh, look, look, isn't that lovely? Oh, and then here's my umbrella in case it rains. Here, what's this? Oh, nothing, Martha. There's nothing there. Oh, did you see that? Of course there's something there. I can see it. Here, what? What's this? What have I done this for? You're not going to bed, are you? Well, it's for coming back. It might turn chilly. But where are you going to get it filled? Oh, on the pram, Martha. They sell jugs of hot water for taking on the sands. <laughs> I suppose you haven't brought your windsjet nightgown with you just by for chance, have you? No, Martha, it wasn't worth it. It's daft to bring a lot of things just for one evening oh. trip. Oh, no! showing all the legs. Look, showing all the legs. Jigsaw, will you keep your hands to yourself for one minute, Maria? Oh, it, oh, isn't that beautiful? It's a shell. I don't know, darling. It's a shell. It's, oh, she's going round and round. Why not? I've got my eyes shut. Come here. Oh. Have you? Oh, look, Mrs. Sharples, old King Cole. That's old King Cole. I'm looking very hard. If you don't know what you're watching, you want to keep your trap shut. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I love Oh, wheel. Oh, Very nice. That's well done, isn't it, Jess? Hey, Mrs. Len, what are you looking all that way for? Yeah. Illuminations is his sign. Illuminations? There's only one illumination I'm looking for, and that's a neon sign. Oh, 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 big fan. Hey, what are you Oh, isn't it lovely? All lit up. Well, of course it's all lit up. What do you expect? It's the illuminations. Not a shilling in the slot meter. Oh, I hope you're not sickening for flu, Esther. You look a bit flushed. Oh, it's nothing to bother about, but I had to take more than a cold to finish me off. Ah, right, that's a stuff. Uh, if, if you tried hot milk and butter... Oh, I did have some hot lemon last night. Well, my mother swears by hot milk and butter. She says it sweats it out of you. Now, she's a great believer in it. Oh, well, I'll try it. It must be the only thing I haven't tried. And she says inhaling's a very good oh, thing, too. Oh, I've given myself a team Turkish baths, Brian. I've got to just let the germs fight it out between them. <laughs> Something special you wanted to see me about? Well, I, as a matter of fact, I was, uh, I was going to ask you if you'd like to go to the Opera House tonight. I didn't know you were a bit oh, under the weather. The Opera House? Ah, you see, I got a couple of tickets for me and my mother, but, uh, well, she's the same as you. She's got a bit of a chill, too. Oh, she tried hot milk and butter. <laughs> I don't know. 
Anyway, I, I was going to ask you if you'd like to come. Oh, it's very nice of you, Brian. I better not give the whole opera house a sniffle. Oh, well, um, shall I sit and keep you company? If you like. If you don't mind missing the show. Oh, oh of course I don't mind. Anyway, we can go another night, can't we? <laughs> now, if they're not in this room, Frank, I'm giving up. Well, knowing them, Jack, it wouldn't surprise me if they're not in any of them, you know. I bet you a pound to penny they've got Dorian on the Gold's train. Well, Len said the pub opposite the second gents after the South Pier. Mm. And that's this one, according to my reckoning. Oh, well. Hey, there they are, Jack. We are. Yeah, look. Where the heck have you two been? I thought you both clicked or something. We've been chasing up and down the pond looking for you. Well, you can't have been looking so hard. We've been sat in here for the last half hour. Well, you're looking so miserable, Paul, eh? Look. <laughs> They've done nothing but yap to each other ever since we got off the coal. Right, we've plans for that lassie, Len and me. We've got half a crown bit on. What for? See you getting ghost train first. And which one of you did? Albert Valentino, the <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what. Shove your half down to Kitty and I'll give them in for you. Right. Then you can all drown yourself in a pint of beer. Yeah. All right, Jack. Well, wait a minute. And remember, Len, you are a married man when all said and done. I know, but it's different when you're on a coach trip, oh, isn't it, fine, Bill? Please. Yeah. Well, if you'll excuse me, um, I'll be off now. I promise to meet the others on the South Pier. Oh, well, don't miss bus, will you? No, no. Uh, Ta-da, Will. Oh, well, good evening, Mrs. Tanner. Have the others arrived at our rendezvous? Well, I don't really know. I'm waiting for somebody, you see. Yes. Oh, well, I expect they're all on the way. <laughs> well, we'll, uh, we'll meet you in the cafe on the pier, as arranged. Yes, yes, all right, then. What was on in that theatre, Mr. Swindley? Theatre, Mr. Swindley? Yes, on the Golden Mile. I thought it sounded most interesting. Oh, no, 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 no. Nothing but just I can assure you. Oh, <laughs> you... Merely a childish catch, Benny. You've been to one before, then? Certainly. Uh, certainly not. But uh, you can take it from me, Miss Dudent. Those sideshows are not our kind of entertainment. Still, there's lots of other exciting things to do, isn't there? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Yes. I suggest we inhale a few more breaths of this lovely sea air and then proceed to the cafe for a nice cup of tea. Hello. And where do you think you've been? Me? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a bit adrift. A bit? You said half past what time is it now? Ten to. Oh, well, where do you think you've been? Up to the top of the tower and back of some at Oh, I've had a quiet drink with the lad. Oh, have you? Yes, I have. Well, what's funny? <laughs> Your face. Well, thank you very much. What's wrong with my face? Nothing. It's just the way your nose twitches when you're mad at me. <laughs> That's all right, then. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, I am. Are you? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm mad about shadow trips. If there was a shadow trip going from one end of Coronation Street to the other, I'd see Tanner and be on it, bet your cotton socks. You know, you must have been more exciting places than Blackpool. Oh, I don't know. One place is much the same as the next. Where have you been, then? What, the Andrew? Hmm. Oh, you know. The usual, Hong Kong, Alex, Jib, Guz. Where? Guz. Well, where's that? Guz. Oh, it's like paradise. Not tropical sunshine, all the parties wearing grass skirts. You just lie on your back drinking coconut juice while they fan. Oh, I see. Marvellous how all the natives speak English, though. Well, where is it, then? Devonport Barracks, about half a mile from Plymouth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, up. Oh, I'm not kidding. If you eat anything more, you'll burst. Delaware, but no, yet it's the sea earth. Well, you're the only lad I've ever seen eating hamburgers and onions on the Big Dipper. Yeah, no wonder you look so gone as when we came out leaning against that wall with your mouth open. Oh, I was breathing. You were staggering. Well, it's better than standing outside the fun house door for that clown laughing his head off. You should have come on in. You would have enjoyed yourselves. Yeah, I noticed you did, watching them girls' skirts blowing right up. Darling, I've only got eyes for you. Come for a walk under the pier and I'll prove it. Hey, you might meet Ken and Val down there. What, them two drips? If I know them, they'll be holding hands in the public library. I don't know what you've got against Val. I think she's a lovely girl. Oh, she puts it on. That's her trouble. She's the right tatter. A blooming daisy. Straight up, sit down. Hey, I thought we were going for some tea and summer tea. Yeah, well, we're going for a short stroll to work up an appetite. Sit down, love. Hey, Jean, if you need any help, there's some lifeguards down there. OK. Oh, come on, Dennis. I'd hate to see you faint with hunger. Come on, love. I don't know. It doesn't take much to amuse some people, does it? How do you mean, Ken? Well, look at it. Beside the great British seaside, Mastopia, here we come. No wonder some people emigrate. 
What's she talking about? Well, just think of it. For 50 weeks of the year, they work to save up for this, a fortnight in Blackpool. Chip shops, stink of onions, lights, some imbecile side shows, a dirty great concrete fairground, and they're happy, or so they think. Of course they're happy, Ken. They wouldn't come otherwise, would no, they? they don't know any better. They live in dumps like Coronation Street, and they think this is paradise. Well, what's wrong with it? Everything. It's overcrowded, overcharged. It's not right, Val. People deserve better than this. Some people work hard, very hard, all the year round, and this is what they get at the end of it. If only they could want a bit more. Well, it wouldn't do if everyone was alike, would it? Well, it's just what they are in this place, like a lot of sheep. Look, Ken, you enjoy yourself going to the theatre and reading and all that. Well, other people are different. They enjoy this. You mean they think they do, because they don't know any better. You're not enjoying yourself, then? I am. But then I enjoy being with you. Well, let's see you smile, then. Mm. No. Hey, where are you going now? I'm going for some chips instead. Look, if we'd have stood there for two minutes, we'd have got served. Oh, well, there's plenty of chip shops. Hey, I thought you two were busy. Ah, the dance halls are finished. They've bagged all the dry places. Yeah, well, it won't kill you to behave yourself It's all change. right, darling. I'll make up for it on the way back. Hey, where are we going now, then? The pleasure beach. We can have a go at the rifles. I'm getting some chips. You'll miss a shower the way you're going on. Oh, I'm sure. Hey, it's such a pity. We've missed the waxworks. Yeah. Darling, you've missed nothing. Here, picture gallery. Who's that? Uh, Bruce Forsyth. Marlon Brando. Oh, uh, Adam Faith. Cliff Richards. Oh, right. Elvis. You've won a major prize. Oh, oh I didn't know it was right. Hey, who's that? Ah, uh, Ronnie. Who's he? My brother. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is a chamber of horrors, more like. Don't kid yourself, Duchess. There are worse monsters than me hanging about, I'll tell you. I oh, don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's some right duties in this dump, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's certainly getting her tanners work. Oh, like that, Madame Fanaka Fanna, whatever her name is, getting me the call when there's a customer. She'll have her there all night. You don't think she'd had an accident? The only accident that'll happen to her is if I walk in there and crown her with that crystal ball, keeping us standing here like a couple of Christmas cards. Thank you. Oh, you're here, are you? Who be had in there with you? You gate skill? Oh, no, Ina. The Conservative Party's over. It finished last Saturday. Mm -hmm. Well, do you know what's going to happen to you now? I suppose you believe all that rubbish she told you. Oh, no, Martha. It's proper magic. It's all I wash. Oh, she told me I was going to have a visitor from the skies. Like a bolt out of the blue, she said. Ah, well, you can just bolt back to that shadow unless you want to stop here all night. Oh, well, I always have my hand red when I come to Black. Oh, come on. Are you coming, Ina? No, I'll follow you on. Well, where are you going? I'm going into this funny big gaslight here to give her a piece of my mind, filling my friend's ends with Jolly Robins. Oh, but Tina, you missed the shower. Oh, the other day. You tell him to wait for me. Go on, I'll catch you up. You go on. I think you're going to have your hand red. Me, I'm a farmer. I've got more sense than that many cold. Well, come on, you're going to miss the bus. You know how slow you are. Oh, now, we're all on, aren't we? Yes, yes I think so, Mr. Walker. Yes, all the wanderers All right, let's hit the trail, partners. Next stop, God City. Hey, Robert Horton, sit down and look after your sick friend here. Right. Hey, Dennis, don't you think you ought to sit next to the window? Oh, I'll be all right. Leave me alone. I'm all right. right come you on, mate. Oh, sweet to home. Oh, Martha, is Ina on? Oh, oh, of course it. she's on. Can't you hear her? She's up at the back. These drunkards, they make you sick. <laughs> Shut up, lads, she'll hear you. Oh, oh Ina, she'll be up at the front. <laughs> Are you all right? OK, now? Yeah. Oh, come on, then. Oh, hi. Oh, 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 with a long separation from your friends. Mm -hmm.